All right, so this is how to place vinyl, adhesive vinyl, onto foam board. There's plenty of videos that are out there, uh, at least a couple that I've seen, that are pretty much just taking the uh, adhesive vinyl and placing it over the whole foam board. Um, I have not seen any that are actually taking graphics as such. And as you can see here in the background, uh, and placing it on to foam boards for signs. So I figured I'd do a quick little video, show you what I've done. Maybe you can see what I'm doing and and, and uh, come up with your own way of doing it. Or uh, this could possibly be a tutorial to show you how to go about doing it. Uh, either which way, I hope you guys get something out of it. Um, I went ahead and I taped everything up already. Um, it's a pretty big design. It's a 16 by 16. I've cut it up. Um, and so we'll go ahead and get it laid down on this foam board here and uh, I guess just pay attention and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and do this hinge method okay I'm gonna peel up let's get rid of these here since we're pretty much lined up I'm going to remove some of this backing okay oh, I'm gonna have to line it up again remove some of this backing a portion of it so that this tape can actually hinge onto here and I'll stay proportioned as I roll back I'll varnish and it should stay in As you can see, hinge down, grab my squeegee, and as I squeegee the graphic on, the backing will roll. You can actually hold it from underneath you, pull it back as you varnish. You want to make sure that you get all that down. Right, it's adhering properly. Try not to get any air bubbles, and this is one way to avoid that as you push this way. You're pushing any air bubbles that may be between the tape and what you're doing. Try to keep it as straight as possible. As you move along, any air bubbles that may occur, if any, there are a few tricks. You can use a pin, uh, a needle, uh, poke a hole in the air bubble and then varnish it flat uh, you can also just squeegee the air bubble out towards the edge if it's close enough to rid of that air bubble okay so larger portion is on now i'm just going to go ahead and varnish this down make sure that it's adhering properly to this foam board you shouldn't have an issue with that here at this point. And again, I'm only using a six inch roll tape. So what I had to do was I doubled it. So it's layered. Well, it's actually not doubled, but it's one here. And then I overlapped this bottom portion of tape onto here so it would become one so that way I didn't have to cut a piece here and then try to position this in like I did the other there I could have I could have overlapped that one as well but again such a big design it's okay so before I take that off I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other portions of this design okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up here first verify where I want this at here like this because it's overlapping up here the back is underneath that so I want to be able to pull that from underneath it like so okay and we'll just roll my squeegee wash down okay, as we go you can see that hopefully you can in the video 
This taken care of, get this uh, transfer tape off so I can place the logo down here so I don't have any excess in the way. Okay. So what you do is, when you do this, we'll start with this bottom one here. You want to roll it over itself and not pull the tape up. You don't want to just pull up and off because it'll lift it up. So you roll it over onto itself as such. Any vinyl that comes up, you can varnish it back down with your hand. Put the tape back over it. Okay. If you want to just, just take your time. Do it in case anything decides to want to pull up. And right now, we look like we're having excellent results. We're not having any issues. So, but again, you just want to fold it over itself. And not pull up and away. Okay. Perfect. Is one of the words. Okay, now I'll take this portion here and we'll do the same. They say to pull at an angle, you know, I mean, once I believe that if you have good adherence and you varnished well enough, shouldn't have that big of an issue. And if you take your time removing this transfer tape you should have no issue okay sometimes you can just go right back over with your finger around the edges if you see any lift off okay to trick the eye sometimes this vinyl as it did mine right now but it's adhering well okay you can actually save this transfer tape, you know, uh, usually I, uh, the majority of the time I would, uh, for video purposes, which, you know, we won't. Maybe I'll show you how I do that after I peel this one off. Usually I'll just take it all off and wrap it right back around my roll for, you know, smaller projects, you know, where I'm just using the tape to transfer uh, a graphic onto an item and it's not going with the graphic itself to the client or customer okay hopefully you guys can see that my hands not in the, in the way or wasn't in the way but if so that's all i'm doing folding it over it okay and so like i was saying about reusing it you can reuse this for other projects that you're just transferring your, your vinyl too. And that's taking your roll. Try to get it on there. If it's, you're using such a big piece like I am here, try to get it on as perfect as possible. Or maybe that's just the perfectionist in me. But you can just get it back on there. You got another little project that you're not going to actually be giving the transfer tape along with the graphic to the client to. Use it. Easy. Maybe this way you guys will be able to see a little bit better. And varnish it on, and you'll see that backing will just come right off. Your vinyl will lay flat onto your surface. Varnish from the middle out. Up, down, all around. Make sure if you varnish these thinner letters well, just get good adherence to your surface. guys any questions leave them down in the comments uh, subscribe uh, you know I do 
all different types of stuff, you know, from cooking to, to graphics to uh, customized T-shirts, custom decals, um, based out of here, Los Angeles. Um, any questions that you might have, again, leave them down in the comments. You want to show love, leave them down in the comments. You want to get negative with me, leave it down in the comments. But until the next video, you guys stay blessed. Peace.